What's up guys, Mickey the Tech Guy here, and with the recent release of the Galaxy S23 FE, I thought, let's revisit the Galaxy S22 Plus and how it holds up here in 2023. Is this the better choice? Let's find out. The Galaxy S22 Plus can be had for around $415 renewed on Amazon at the time of this recording, which at that price steadily competes with the likes of the Galaxy S23 FE, and in my opinion is a better buy considering they have pretty much the same specs. The S22 Plus has a better screen in that regard, and it's just an overall better choice for your money. Yes, the Galaxy S23 FE is brand new, it's gonna get probably a little bit more software updates due to the promise from Samsung, but overall, I think the Galaxy S22 Plus is a better buy because of how much it costs currently. You're looking at almost a $200 price drop which puts it in the realm of the Galaxy A54 at this point, which is a mid-range device that they've created that is, is good for the most part because it does have a lot of the same, you know, similar features, but you're getting a lower end processor and GPU, you're getting less RAM. With all of that in consideration, the Galaxy S22 Plus is the better buy. Is it the greatest buy in the world in my opinion? No. But if you are looking in the market to get yourself a Galaxy device and you don't want to break the bank, you saw the Galaxy S23 FE and you were like, hey, that looks like a compelling device, it's brand new, I can buy it. They don't even put charging bricks in the box anymore. So you're getting just the device and a cable and that's pretty much it. They give you instruction manuals, all that, all that stuff, a SIM ejector tool, and loads of other stuff like that. But with a renewed device, you're getting very similar stuff and they actually put a regular generic power brick in there so if you need to just quickly plug in and charge they have it in there to be honest the 45 watt fast charger is about 15 bucks i saw on amazon so if you guys want to purchase that i will leave some links in the description for the devices along with the charging brick if you want to pick it up you can do it via the link in my description which would help me out tremendously in all honesty because i do get a little bit of commission via the amazon partnership program so that would be really great you pay the same amount, it's just if you shop through Amazon, through my links, it helps me out greatly to help continue this channel, so I would appreciate that greatly. But as far as it goes, this device gives you pretty much everything the Galaxy S23 FE is giving you, aside from the updates. So if that's something that really concerns you, which I, in my opinion really shouldn't because Android's pretty much matured and refined itself to this point and the Galaxy S22 Plus is still running Android 13. You're gonna get a couple more updates and security patches so you're not really missing out on a whole lot. You're actually gonna get a lot more with this because this was a flagship device from 2022. You're getting a device that was actually meant to be a flagship versus the Galaxy S23 FE feels like a premium mid-range device at this point. So it's actually stepping down everything and the Galaxy S22 Plus is the top tier from last year which isn't that bad to be honest with you you're gonna be getting a really solid overall device now the snapdragon hn1 definitely is a hot processor i've had a little bit more glitches with it than the snapdragon hn2 or even the snapdragon 888 in my opinion so be wary of that any device you're getting with the snapdragon hn1 it's gonna be noticeable when you start pushing the phone that it heats up and it throttles I've seen it a bunch in these devices, and it also isn't efficient when it comes to battery life, so that's another note to take. They've definitely helped refine it in the S23 FE I've seen from people on the internet. I don't have the device, I can't speak from my experience, but with the Galaxy S22 Plus, the battery life is mediocre. If you were to go with the Galaxy S22, which only costs about 380 bucks, 300, I think the lowest I saw was 350 bucks on Amazon, that one is cheaper, gives you a smaller display, same specs pretty much, you're getting 8 gigs of RAM, you're getting the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, 128 gigabytes of storage, but the battery life leaves a little bit more to be desired. So as far as that goes, the S23 FE has a better battery life than both of these devices I've seen. But the Galaxy S22 Plus with all of its optimizations and everything like that is no no slouch. The, the Plus is definitely has a larger battery, so that's something you guys should take into consideration that the Galaxy S22 Plus has decent battery life it's not the greatest in the world but it's not the worst so in this space you're spending 415 bucks for this phone here you're getting literally all the s23 fe has to offer and it's intended to be this flagship device so everything around it was built that way with the cameras it doesn't feel like a step down it feels like premium device from last year so if you're weary on that like i think renewed devices are going to be a better choice because they're just 
better, man. There's, this is a better value device than the Galaxy S23 FE is. The old S20 FE was probably their peak for the FE series, in my opinion. So if you really wanted to do that, you can purchase a Galaxy S20 FE on refurbished for under $200 at this point, and even 150 bucks in some cases. So if you're going for an FE device, go for the S20 FE. Yeah, you don't have any more software updates, but it's still running the current Android, which is really awesome at this point. So if you wanted something that's going to not break the bank and you really want to go super budget, the S20 FE is a better choice. That's just what it really is at this point. There is the option to go to the S21 Plus, and that one's a bit cheaper too, around the 250 price point. So there's these options that you have other than the S23 FE, which, which only comes with the phone and the cord in the box. You're not getting anything extra, so you're not really losing anything going with these devices that are refurbished on Amazon. I think you're getting a more well-rounded package for a lot less money. You pay $600 for the Galaxy S23 FE, or you could pay $415 for the Galaxy S22 Plus here. To me, no brainer. Pick this up. This one is the one to go for versus the S23 FE in my opinion. Its build quality is immaculate. It's a glass sandwich with aluminum rails. The camera cutout looks beautiful. This was their more refined design in my opinion than their current design anyway. I think that they should have separated the cameras on the newer ones, which is fine. I mean, some people may disagree with me on that and I think that's more opinion based anyway, but the device itself looks beautiful from the back. Glimmer. This is the teal variant that I have here, which is my favorite color, so I'm biased, but I love this color. You can get it in a black colorway as well if you want to. I think there's a few other colorways on the site, but ultimately you're getting the whole package for $200 less than the Galaxy S23 FE. You're getting the whole package for pretty much the same price as their mid-range Galaxy A54. All built into one. It's beautifully built. It's meant to be a flagship, so walking around people are thinking you paid a thousand dollars for this phone, but you paid four hundred and fifteen dollars. So that overall just screams premium from the build quality. You've got a flagship device. That's something to be noted, is that versus the Galaxy S23 FE, which does have thicker bezels, does have a silver ring around the punch hole camera, so it stands out more when you're looking at content versus this one is more sleek and more out of the way. So overall, you're getting a better device from the Galaxy S22 Plus. We can talk about software all day. The Galaxy S22 Plus is running Samsung's UI and that right there, a lot of people may not like it. But overall, it runs really smoothly. The display itself is 120 Hz LTPO. You're getting yourself a decent screen that is actually better than the Galaxy S23 FE's display. They look very similar in resolution because they are 1080p based, but the Galaxy S22 Plus gives you a more dynamic refresh rate. It's giving you all that in the kitchen sink in the software department that does not break the bank. It gives you Samsung Dex. It gives you all of Sam Samsung's tinkering. You can even download Goodlock on this device. You can make it your own and it's Android so you can customize it to your liking with Nova Launcher or another launcher of your choice. There's so much freedom with this device at $415 versus $600. I don't really see an upside to getting the Galaxy S23 FE in my opinion with all of the specs laid out. I've compared them spec for spec and overall you're getting a premium flagship from the Galaxy S22 Plus because that's what Samsung intended and then with the S23 FE it's like a watered down version of their newest devices. So at that point you might as well get a good deal for like $600, $700 on the Galaxy S23 Plus because the Galaxy S23 FE is just not priced right in my opinion. This is you know, for what you're getting in the software end of things is the same exact software experience, if not better on the Galaxy S22 Plus here. This is the device to go for, for software. Now in the software department, my girlfriend does use this phone as her daily driver at the moment, and she does say that there are tend to be a little bit more glitches when she's using her phone often. And again, that could be attributed to the Snapdragon HN1. I did have the OnePlus 10 Pro for a while, and that device also had the Snapdragon HN1. And there was always glitches so I think it just throttles too much so that's what you're seeing and noticing is in other devices it did not throttle like that in normal usage so you could really push the limits so just be mindful of that with the Snapdragon HN1 you are gonna see hiccups now and again if you're more on the heavy end of usage although it can handle a lot of stuff that you throw at it so just be mindful Snapdragon HN1 is in the S23 FE it's in the S22 plus if 
we were talking about apples to apples here, the S22 Plus is better in software as well. We will get into the nitty gritty of battery life with the Galaxy S22 Plus. So it doesn't come with the 45 watt charger, I did speak on that earlier, it's only about 15 bucks you can purchase on Amazon, and you'll have the 45 watt char fast charging. It does impact battery life over time, so just be weary that it may get hotter, and when you're charging the device, it can degrade the battery quicker. But 45 watt fast charging is nothing to scoff at. Here currently with us, we have a 25 watt fast charger that my girlfriend uses for this device. So I don't have the 45 watt charger on hand, but you can purchase that for yourself on Amazon. If at this point you're already buying a renewed device, you might as well buy the 45 watt fast charger and get yourself the fastest charging you possibly can. You have the option to buy the 25 watt one as well if you wanna not degrade the battery as much, but also have sort of fast charging. But the Galaxy S23 FE, only comes with the 25 watt fast charging. It doesn't come with 45 watt fast charging. So if you're looking for something in that regard, this phone beats that battery. There is more optimization with the 20, S23 FE. Like I said earlier, a lot of people have been reporting, but the Galaxy S22 Plus has decent battery life and the 45 watt fast charging. So the combination of those things, you're not really gonna be yearning to charge your device all the time. And most people's charging habits are kind of refined at this point anyway, because everybody's got a smartphone, everybody's used to the, what they've had previously. And if you're coming from a different device than the S22 Plus, or you're trying to go to the S23 FE, I doubt that you've experienced anything super flagship anyway. So that is coming from somebody who's tried a bevy of phones. If you've never really experienced it, this is actually gonna be great for you because 45 watt fast charging is really fast compared to a lot of other competitors. OnePlus has been you know, ahead of the game for their fast charging for a very long time and the OnePlus 11 has 80 watt fast charging and that charges <laughs> crazy quick. That's my daily driver that I'm currently using is the OnePlus 11 versus the Galaxy S22 Plus. Of course, I'm picking the OnePlus 11 all day, but I had the opportunity to purchase one for a decent price on Amazon Prime deals. That's neither here nor there. The point I'm trying to make here with battery life is that aside from some fringe cases with OnePlus and all that stuff, 45 watt fast charging is nothing to scoff at. This is something that you would very much enjoy in your device. It's gonna hold up well, especially if you're getting a refurbished phone. Nine times out of 10, it's in excellent condition, so the battery life is gonna be top tier. You're not looking at a degraded battery like we are here with this device from my girlfriend. She uses it every single day, it's her main device. So of course, there's degradation in the battery. All that being said, she said her battery life is pretty all right. She kind of charges it irregularly anyway, and it usually lasts her all day throughout the day, and she's never really had a problem in that department. So for battery, the S22 Plus is gonna give you decent battery life, faster charging if you buy the brick, than the Galaxy S23 FE, so it's better in battery and charging as well. Let's talk about the cameras on this device. Is it better than the Galaxy S23 FE? From what I've seen, they're very similar in daylight. Low light feels almost better than the Galaxy S23 FE from what I've seen as well. I will show you guys a bunch of pictures here just to show you and showcase what this device is capable of taking. I think Samsung takes really great photos with their devices. The Galaxy S22 Plus is no exception in that regard. So here are a bunch of pictures for you guys to see for your enjoyment. So taking note of all those photos that I showed you guys, the Galaxy S22 Plus's cameras are nothing to scoff at. This camera setup here is 
perfect for anybody on a budget. You definitely feel like you're not punching down with them in any regard. You're gonna get flagship experience photos with this because again, it was a flagship in 2022. So they wanted to give you the best of the best in their optics at that time. And I think it even contends better with the S21 Ultra from the previous year than most devices would in general. This device holds up in daylight and low light in any condition you want to throw at it. It's night mode is fantastic. This device here, four cameras, is 100% a go no matter what anybody says. This one is going to be a good pickup for $415. Yes, the S23 FE has some solid cameras, but it's not meant to be a flagship camera experience. It's meant to be a premium mid-range camera experience. So you're getting a better camera experience, in my opinion, with the Galaxy S22 Plus here. So for pictures, Galaxy S22 Plus is 100% a go for me. Now let's talk gaming. Here with the Galaxy S22 Plus, it can game, it can play your Fortnite, it can play Genshin Impact, it can play Call of Duty Mobile, it can play Subway Surfers, Fruit Ninja, all of those games can definitely be played on the Snapdragon HN1 with its GPU. You're of course gonna see it do all that stuff. Will it get hot? Yes. Will it throttle? Most likely. But you're getting it for $415. It's a little bit more excusable at that price than it is at 600 brand new for the S23 FE. There's pretty much your answer in gaming. With gaming on this device, you're gonna have the Snapdragon HN1. You're seeing similar experience in your gaming versus the Galaxy S23 FE. So it's another no brainer here. You're gonna wanna go ahead and pick up the S22 Plus because you're saving that money. You can put it into a gaming controller like the GameStar X2 Pro. So you put a little bit of that money in there and then you have a gaming controller you can put on your Galaxy S22 Plus and then you can play games with a full controller and you still saved money from the Galaxy S23 FE. So if you're a gamer and you're younger and you don't really have a lot of money, spend the 415, get the Galaxy S22 Plus and you can game on this just like you gamed on the Galaxy S23 FE. All in all, the Galaxy S22 Plus is a definite go for me if you want to not break the bank, you want to get a flagship-esque device. This one is definitely one to consider if you're in the market for the Galaxy S23 FE and you saw it and you thought, hey, why don't I spend the $600 instead of going up to the $800 for the S23 Plus? This is the device to go for. If they would have put the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 in the Galaxy S23 FE, we'd be having a different conversation here. It would be more in line with the price that it is because the Galaxy S23 FE is supposed to be a competitor to the Nothing Phone 2, which has the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. It's a competitor to its own line of devices. When you look at the refurbished market, you can get the S23 Plus for around the same price. So in that regard, if you're, you have the $600 and you want to move up to the S23 Plus, you're getting better cameras, better battery life, more optimizations, you're getting the Snapdragon HN2 for Galaxy, so you're getting a more overclocked version, you're getting all the bells and whistles that you wouldn't with the S23 FE. So in that space, it's not really worth it to pick up the S23 FE in my opinion. I feel like it's this weird, awkward, middle to higher middle device that doesn't really need to exist, especially when the Galaxy S22 Plus exists. In a world where this device exists and the S23 FE exists, the S22 Plus is your best bang for your buck for $415. If you don't mind going down in battery life and going down in screen size, the Galaxy S22 for slightly cheaper is a go as well in my opinion, either or of these devices. If you want the larger device, S22 Plus, no brainer. Don't choose the S23 FE, in my opinion. Yeah, it has the Snapdragon HN1, it has all those, those specs, so of course it's a good phone. I'm not saying that the S23 FE is a terrible device, it just doesn't make sense for value. So I'm here to tell you my opinion, and I would say pick up the S22 Plus. So best bang for buck is this is the no-brainer choice. Go pick up the S22 Plus. If you guys need a device and you don't want to spend more than $415, this is a great device to go for. There's also an argument to be had slightly here to go with the S21 Ultra if you want to go up in size. Yes, you're going back to the 21 series, but the S21 Ultra is still an amazing device here, and I think you can get it in the $350 to $380 range right now, which is an insane deal for the S21 Ultra. So that's a device to consider too. If you want to go with an Ultra device, the S21 Ultra definitely will be a good bang for your buck. So that's something to consider, but if you're looking for something that's not going to break the bank, $415, it's newer, more software updates, S22 Ultra, all day. Don't pick the S23 FE. That device just doesn't sit right with me here, and I can't recommend the S23 FE when this is sitting here, when the S21 Ultra is sitting there, and if you wanted to go even cheaper, the S20 FE 
is sitting there. The S21 FE, obviously, if you want the Snapdragon 888, that's a device to consider. I didn't check the pricing on that, but I'll put it over here for you guys to see. The pricing on the S21 FE is probably somewhere in the middle there for you guys, but you might as well at that point get the S22 Plus because I'm sure they're not that far off from pricing and you're getting the full flagship experience. Otherwise, S21 Ultra, don't get the S23 FE. So that's it for this video here. I just wanna know if you guys don't agree with me here, you could take my advice with a grain of salt. You can pick the S23 FE if you'd like to, uh, even against my recommendation, and I'm sure you'll love the device. I just think that the pricing is a little off. So this is something to consider here is the Galaxy S22 Plus versus getting yourself the S23 FE. But again, it's your choice at the end of the day. Let me know what you guys would pick in the description. Would you get a different device? Would you get another Galaxy device? Would you get the S21 Ultra? Would you get the S22? I would really love to hear your thoughts. If you really like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you dislike this video, go ahead and hit the dislike button. If you really liked it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get more content from me. And as always, I'm Mega the Tech Guy, and I'm out. Peace.